Agrotech 2010, India's premier international agrotechnology and business fair, was held successfully from the 3rd to the 6th of December. The majestic city of Chandigarh once again played host to the 9th edition of the biennial event. Spread over 6,000 square meters, the event had over 200 participants, including several international participants. The fair, organized by Confederation of Indian Industry, was partnered by Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India. Punjab and Haryana were the host states. The central ideology behind the event was to create and sustain an environment conducive to the growth of agriculture industry in India, partnering industry and government alike. The fair was inaugurated by the Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Government of India, Mr. Sharad Pravar. A record-breaking 200 new products were launched at the event. Over the years, I have seen it evolved from merely an exhibition of uh, existing products to futuristic uh, technology and thinking ahead of what is to come. And one aim of uh, objective of Agrotech has been how to bring more and more private sector participation in agriculture, which is India's largest industry. The event also comprised of six concurrent expos. These were Agri Expo, Agriculture Resource Management, Farm Services, Farm Tech, Food Expo, Food Tech and Livestock Expo. The highlight of the event was Agricultural Resource Management, an exclusive concurrent fair which featured the best of domestic and international companies engaged in agricultural conservation, water management, natural resource management, environment control and protection. Agri Expo showcased India's huge potential as an emerging exporter of agricultural and allied products. Food Expo and Food Tech allowed participants to explore the huge processed food market and state-of-art technologies in the field. Farm Services was aimed at educating farmers about the methods to overcome operational challenges and resolve credit problems. Advancements made in farming technologies was showcased in Farm Tech. Another concurrent expo was Livestock 2010 which showcased the latest technologies in livestock breeding management and services. Another major hit at the event was the Kisan Goshtis, where farmers were able to discuss with experts issues such as sustainable agriculture and go over concerns and arrive at solutions. It provides an opportunity to one and all to witness the progress made in the field of agriculture, what is available to farmers in the present context, different uh, management techniques are available to them, companies get an opportunity to uh, meet people, display their products. Also integral to Agrotech 2010 were the series of international conferences. These included conferences on Future of Indian Agriculture, Sustaining Indian Agricultural Growth, Agri-Infrastructure, Imperatives to Growth, New Drivers in the Food Processing Sector, and Emerging Opportunities in the Dairy and Poultry Sector. The conferences presented participants with a dynamic perspective on the global agricultural scenario across diverse sectors. Agrotech has become an important stop for national and international participants, a fact that was reflected by the addition of a distinct international flavor to the event.
The ninth edition saw participation of several countries including Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Australia, the United States of America and the United Kingdom. South Korea also made its debut in this edition of the event. It is a very good uh, organized exhibition. We are really happy with this, uh, this, uh, this exhibition. Also the quality of the visitors is uh, quite good. We are very surprised but the response is huge. So we have a lot of work from the beginning to the close of the, of the exhibition. Agrotech 2010 also saw the successful signing of several business deals and memorandum of agreements between the participants. The event generated 846 business inquiries, which have an estimated business potential of about Rs. 50 crores. With over 85,000 visitors and 40,000 farmers, the event generated staggering business for the participants. Another measure of the event's resounding success was that over 90% of this edition's participants have already pledged their attendance in the 10th Agrotech slated to be held in Chandigarh in December 2012. So, if you are seeking to expand your business or simply your horizon, make sure you are with us at Agrotech 2012.